Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can prepare our file for uploading. You know, when we select the profile image, it should uh, use Ajax request to upload our file. So there are different approach for doing this one. If you have already used PHP, you know, you can just give the form as a um, file type like a multi type form the form data like that and then you submit it it will send the file and then you can take it in the server upload it doing something like that but we are not using php so we are using uh, vue.js and javascript how would you do that that here i i'm going to use base 64 if you don't know about base 64 it is basically if you just search it around or just go to stack overflow they have a very good answer here but i will tell you uh, a little bit easier then maybe uh, i'll make it a little shorter base 64 is a type of encoding basically if when you are selecting an image we change the image to a string and then we send the string to the server in the server we take that string and then we convert that to an image basically like that so how you convert it the text that that we are converting that text is called base 64 encoding that is that much easy why we use that one base 64 is very popular like uh, when you are transferring data instead of changing it to binary and they say that if you transfer it to the binary there will be they, they will cause problem when you send a protocol something like that but it is going to base 64 is easy because it is an a string and you can send it to the server like any other text type and in the server you can take that and change it to image and then save it somewhere so that is basically how we are going to uh, doing this one so if you don't know if, if you just search how big 64 is going to work so here is a very uh, good answer here that got a lot of uh, uh, voting here i i show you the examples here so that you should search around and understand what is going on be, be behind the scene that's why otherwise i would just go and write coding it would be fine i know the purpose is to learn stuff not just to create it so that's why i just want to show you different approach here so i'm going to use the third approach which is easy and it, it is very short as well so i will just modify it a little bit for ourselves so if i come here this is our application when we select a file selecting here i have prepared a few uh, profile picture from here i can select any of them when I select it, yeah, this file is selected, but after the selection, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire an event. So let's uh, write the event. If I come to my coding here, going to resource, app, JS, then component, here is the profile. And I'll close it for now. The sidebar, if I come all the way down, you know, this is where we select the, the file. Here is the file. So what I can do is, I can just write at change it means on change I can just call a function uh, let me get, just give it a name like update profile something like that now this is a function so it will call this function let's see how this function is going to work I will come here we have mounted we don't have methods so I will come here and write methods it is going to be containing all our method so I will write the method we have here this is going to call this function I will pass a parameter here like an mm, like a file anything you can write because we are dealing with file I can just give it a name of file by file I mean event like when you fire an event this is going to be an E most people write it E like event or anything you you can put E is better because this is going to be an event so now this event you can do is let's just console.log for for a while if i write console.log uploading to make sure that our event is working i will save the file and if i come here wait for the compile yeah if i hard reload and see if this is going to console.log so it it should it should uh, fire our event I will go to the console page here this error because of uh, a slow network connection that's why it is showing so this is not related to our application so if you see this error this is because of the chrome so let's see if this is going to work if i click on this let's pick something yeah uploading you know the function is going to fire so what i'm going to do is 
instead of consoling the log here I will just comment it for now I will grab the file the file that we are uploading so how you grab the file you know there is E V past the event so when you pass the E E is going to contain uh, like the file we are uploading to so if I, if I come to stack overflow they, they are using they are passing an E or element like that and then they say file get the E so this is how you are going to check the first or the and this is going to be an array and take the first file so for us since we are going to use ES6 I will say let and now I'll say file is equal to now e dot what was the name of the function that we are going to use the, the name of the array it is going to be files so this is going to be files for us too now we have the file and we store that in the file variable here so they also give it as a file and then what you can do is you can convert it using the file reader using the file reader you can convert it to uh, a base 64 here is the function for the file reader you just say reader dot read as data URL and then you pass your file this is going to work like that so let's see how we are going to do this one for us so if I copy this one for now I will come here paste it here I will just make it for ourselves you know we have a variable instead of the var we can say just let because we are using e6 both of them are fine for now so this is the reader it is going to be a new instance of file reader and we say the reader unload unloaded or if if it loaded like we expected and it should like this is going to just console.log the file we have this is basically doing like that this is doing nothing than that if you can completely remove this one because this is optional the important part is this part the reader read as data URL and you pass your file uh, so I think everything is fine for now if I save it they have written on uh, load end both are correct like you can say on load as well on load end I think both of them are going to work so if I come to browser this time if I refresh it let's see if it is going to output uh, the file for us you know on changes we say that do this stuff so let's see if it is going to console.log the file we have if I pick a file let's we select this one oops it is going to give us an undefined type of zero so let's see what is wrong with this one if I come to the code here so we have our file and it's going to oops there is an error so we say e dot file it should be e dot target dot file something like this it is going to take this uh, the uh, the array or the zero the, the number one uh, you know the zero the array is going to start from zero this is going to take the first file from the one we uploaded so this should work this time you know if i go to example here this is just element dot file i think this is not going to work maybe nobody said about this one so if I save it this time we come here uh, we, yeah compile we refresh it so you know that if it work it is going to say result and then it is going to display the result of our file in the console if I pick this image now ah you can see this is the string this is base 64 string result is going to be this one basically like that now it is not too much text like this is a bit text like any content like you can put it in a variable and then you can send it to the server in the server you are going to change it back to an image and then save it this is very easy like an ajax request is going to work like that um, maybe there are some other options too the good thing is like you can detect the file size the file type you know all of them are equal here but again there are some other way you can do this one of, of course I will show you how you can show the file size and some other stuff so let me show you now if I come here you know we just say display the result so what if I say console.log let's say file yeah our file or no we just console.log our reader's URL console oops I am very bad in English so console dot lock 
we put the whole function here to console.log this one and if I save it this time we will come in this part it is not going to do anything so if I save it this this is uh, very helpful when you want to change something for example if someone click on the getting the file you want to change your uh, the profile picture instantly something like that this is like uh, helpful otherwise you don't need to do this one for now we just put it like this if I refresh the page this time let's see what are going to display it on the console window if I pick this oops undefined what is undefined this time we pick the file name yeah everything is fine and this it is undefined so if I check out the code uh, we should not yeah we should not console the log it here let it be like this now what we can do is you can console the log the file variable we have here if I console dot log file I just want to show you the 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 things that we have access like the file type the file name the file size all of those things I mean when you when a user upload the file instantly you can see if they have uploaded more than two megabytes you can alert them like you have more than two megabytes of file please try something else something like that so if I refresh this time ah yeah we don't get any error this time because we have maybe a good internet connection so if I pick uh, a file from here let's say there's by here we console.log the file this file now contain the name this is going to be an object the name is this one the name and last modified is going to be the date and everything you have seen here these are yet yeah, here is the size it is going to display that in mega mm, not in megabyte this byte I think something like that yeah and plus it is going to be type of p image png yeah these are the things you have access like even the last modified date all of those things are written here so this is very handy for you now what we are going to do is instead of consoling the log we do need to this one of course we will discuss about how we can detect the file size later for now what we can do is we can assign the file to the photo here so when when we submit the form it is going to send the photo in the server and in the next video we will learn how we can convert it back to an image so let's do final let's finalize it yeah oops we don't do this one you know this is the function here what you can do is you can do it like this this is going to be the es6 version so yes it is going to be equal to this one this is a lot easy you can pass the e or no not e let's say this is going to be five something like this so here what we can do is you can say this dot photo it should refer to this photo from here so let's see if it work because we are writing this inside another function here so this is going to be reader dot result let's see if it work because we are just doing it if I save it for now if I come to the view to the profile we take the profile component opening the form uh, here is the photo here which is by default if I select an, any image let's see if it change oops we, it didn't change anything so if I even if I reload this one opening the form no it didn't change it because we do not have access to this inside the function what I'm going to do is you know this keyboard is written here so we, we do not have access I will say let vm anything just say a random text here it's a variable like vm is equal to this and now instead of this one oh maybe we have access to this it should be this dot form dot photo because this is inside the form object since we are using the es6 it should be able to re refer to the this if i refresh this time let's see if it work otherwise we should do the old way like we should assign this to another variable and use it if i pick the image from here let's go to profile opening the form yeah it work the photo is going to be equal to the string we have now this is a long string but when we send it to the server 
we can change it back to a um, simple like image for now you know we just convert it to a base 64 and this is how you can convert it to text now this is the text but this is readable this is convertible this is flexible everything you need so in the next video we will learn how we can send it to the server and take it and convert it to an image and save it in the database so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching